Woo! Hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Chasing. It's coming to you live from Asia, guys. This is our Monday morning drive time update for you all out there. We're going to be talking about Bitcoin. We're going to be talking about uh, Dogecoin. Uh, some amazing stuff is happening for Bitcoin and uh, some great stuff is happening for Dogecoin, even though we're not seeing much being re uh, reflected uh, in the pricing right now. I still think that there's a lot of catalysts, a lot of a huge, huge stuff that is building up for Dogecoin. And uh, we're, we're, we're eventually going to see Dogecoin to $1, guys. And uh, definitely nine cents is definitely coming in soon. Uh, so don't be dismayed. Don't be discouraged uh, when things go down. Going down is good. It's a, it's a buying opportunity. So I wouldn't panic too much uh, out there, guys. Don't forget to go and uh, smash the freaking likes. Like this. It looks like this, guys. Smash the likes. Show some love. Great time to be live. Remember, all this is financial advice. Just an OG in the house expressing my opinion, guys and gals. So it's it's a good time to get to be live. Let's, let, let me get my face back. Let me get my face back. Shrink that down. Shrink that down. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Go back and watch all my other videos. Now, I would recommend that you go back and watch this video here. Uh, this video is a good video. It's a, it's a, it's about a, what I consider my personal strategy uh, to create uh, life changing wealth when it comes to crypto. So back and watch that. Become a member. I appreciate. I would appreciate it. So far, we're seeing that uh, Bitcoin is uh, hit Bitcoin uh, for February. I'm just give this a minute to refresh. Minute to refresh time. We're seeing that uh, Bitcoin is down about 0.45%. Uh, remember, it's just the beginning of the month. Uh, we got uh, February 14th. We got uh, also uh, the Chinese New Year coming. So uh, expect some flatness to the uh, middle of February. Overall, the crypto markets are seeing red, uh, not down, not down too much, down about one to two percent average uh, is what's going on. Uh, we're seeing that uh, Dogecoin is also down as well. Uh, fear and greed has slipped to 60, uh, kind of the same where it was yesterday and last week. Remember at 55. So we're doing a little bit better. In terms of that perspective, the sentiment is kind of like the sentiment is kind of 50-50 out there. If you take a look at the at the uh, crypto markets right now, we've seen the total market cap, uh, according to Coin Market Cap, is uh, down 0.85 percent. So average, we're down about one percent, right? Uh, we're seeing 1.63 a trillion uh, is a total value. Uh, Bitcoin is down one percent at 42,500. Not too shabby, 42,000 dollars, considering our low is around 17,500. So not too shabby, not too shabby. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to the ha halving out there. Uh, having wise, we are uh, right here, guys. Having wise, I'm giving this some interview fresh. Don't forget to smash do it, come one one. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to go down there and give a super thanks. We're about 72 days, 72 days to the halving, so less than three months. So that's that's pretty freaking bullish out there. Solana is down. Uh, XRP is down. Uh, Cardano is down three percent. Avalanche is down three percent. But the douche woozer is. Uh, only down 0.55%, and Dogecoin is just going sideways between 0.081 and 0.078. That's just kind of range. Uh, this thing is pretty quiet. Uh, in terms of announcements next week, nothing much is happening uh, out there. We've got CPI, seasonal factor revision. Nothing much. We've got core CPI that's coming out on the 13th. So nothing big, nothing big. Earning-wise, uh, we've got Disney, Caterpillar, McDonald's. Chipotle, Pepsi, Eli, uh, Ford, Toyota, PayPal, PayPal, that could be interesting. Uh, nothing much is happening, uh, except we got th these announcements. I think these announcements are probably being pretty mixed and pretty flat. You can see that uh, Bitcoin right now is trading at 42,400 on the Binance daily chart. Nothing much is happening. Uh, Bitcoin just kind of range bound right now, following, it's kind of just following this, following this upward channel, right? Just kind of like following the channel. And it's just kind of like going lackluster, la da 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 da. Uh, I'm hoping that the Bitcoin spot ETFs will have uh, impact on the price, and we'll start to see that Bitcoin will start to raise. But overall, we're not seeing a lot of volatility. We're seeing that the uh, the uh, volume is average, so yeah, it's it's not too shabby. Not too shabby. Pretty much the same kind of story for Ethereum. It's just kind of you know, it's it's trending up a little bit, range bound right now. Uh, overall, we are seeing that. Uh, Bitcoin hash rate uh, just broke a new record, so that's spectacular. Typically, that means more activity on chain for Bitcoin, and that often indicates that we're going to see a price spike, guys. So that's good. Uh, bear market accumulation bull, I repeat. So these are typically the cycles, right? Bear accumulation bull. Bear accumulation bull. Right now, we are just finishing our accumulation phase, entering the bull phase, and you can see in previous years, the bull phase was a nice lift off, guys. So yeah, Bitcoin's coming. Ethereum is coming, Dogecoin. And don't forget, we could be three months to six months away from the Ethereum 
uh, spot ETF. And if that happens, we could easily see that the price of Ethereum could definitely go up, definitely go up. Uh, I think this is a really important message. I did talk about it in my previous video. Dogecoin investors, remember, take profits. When you're 100% up, take 50% off the table. It's so important because a lot of newbies out there, what they do is they don't take their profits and they just keep riding because they think things are going up. You've got, you've got to take the emotion out of it. You've got to strat, set a strategy out there. So important. Get Pay yourself, guys. Uh, looks uh, breaking. After Google, now Facebook and Instagram will allow Bitcoin spot ETF ads on their platform. So that is pretty good. We're seeing Bitcoin and crypto uh, advertising on all main uh, social media platforms. So that's positive. More eyeballs on crypto. So yeah, that's good news, right? Good news. Good news out there for the cryptoites, cryptoites and the DGENs out there. Uh, yeah, let's send it, guys. Let's have to send it. We could see that 2016 looked like this accumulation phase here, accumulation phase. Then, then we had the bull run, and look what happened. And we are right here, right now. Who's telling how much we could be, where we could be? I mean, according to this chart, if we look at the same uh, technical uh, pattern, the fractal pattern here, we could be seeing $160,000 coming in. So life-changing wealth, guys. And it comes easy. All you got to do is be patient, guys. Dollar cost average. Buckle up. Uh, fam, just pe just peeped into the crystal ball six month Helsinki ashy chart revealing the next two god candles could be right here uh, as we get closer to 1.168 Fibonacci level. Uh, and according to this, the new god candle could be mind blowing, and the 1.618 Fib is a jaw dropping 160 guys. So there's some there's some confluence between this and this, some correlation out there. So that is pretty pretty good news out there. Bitcoin is still the 11th biggest asset on planet Earth. On planet Earth. So, guys, let's talk about Bitcoin. Uh, Dogecoin, sorry. Excuse me. Dogecoin. Dogecoin has just been really range bound. I mean, it's range bound between 0, 0.81, uh, between this level here and this level. It's just range bound. And we've got some really good support around 0, 0.772 out there. Uh, we have not broken down below that support. So, that kind of indicates to me that we're just going to be going sideways for a while. Accumulation out there. Uh, a lot of people are saying that, the, you know, a big move is inevitable to the upside. Yes, there's going to be a big move, a big move for uh, Dogecoin. Uh, and, you know, once once Bitcoin takes off and we see a, a lot more liquidity coming into the crypto markets, we're going to definitely see a big takeoff for uh, Dogecoin. So that's good news. Guys, don't forget, if you got a crypto on a centralized exchange, go down there, check out my Linky Winky. And uh, remember, if you don't own the keys, you don't own the crypto. And remember, the Nano Ledger allows you to trade, not trade, but, you know, exchange stuff. I need to have some staking on some limited uh, coins out there. So it's pretty good. Uh, and it's safe. It's safe. No one can steal it. Uh, what's going on? What's going on for um, uh, Dogecoin right now? The absolute price, according to a do uh, coin in the market cap. Remember, this is an aggregate, right? Uh, we're seeing right now that uh, it's at 07838. And we're seeing that the uh, right now, the volumes, the volumes of volumes are up 18%. So not too shabby. But uh, we're, still the, we're still in the top 10 spot. What can I say? Top 10 spot. That's fantastic, guys. Uh, Dogecoin rise due to X payments. Altcoin oppose strong growth, guys. So definitely we're seeing that, uh, you know, AI is saying that uh, Dogecoin could hit uh, zero 0.9 cent very shortly. I believe it. We've got X payments coming soon. Definitely going to be coming soon. Dogecoin for the win. Elon Musk will use Doge as a payment option for X. What do you guys think? I think, I think Elon Musk is bullish. He just posted 420, and um, he did reply to his one of his own posts about Dogecoin. So seems to be he getting back on the Dogecoin bandwagon out there. More Elon Musk X payment coming soon. Dogecoin to moon soon, guys. And I, I did tell you right now that we are tightly, tightly tight. We're in a tight range for uh, uh, Bitcoin, uh, Dogecoin, and don't forget on the 11th we have this confluence area on the 11th, and we definitely need to uh, break out. So. February 11th will be the area of confidence. If we break above the descending triangle, this will be bullish. So we need to get above here. If we break, uh, if we don't break out, then it's going to be bearish, and we could be going down, de -de 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 down, down. So keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that. Uh, remember, Elon Musk theme post sets Twitter on fire. And remember, he did post 420, which refers to April 20th, which is considered uh, Doge Day out there, guys. So yeah. And according to this website. Doge, the Doge One mission to the moon is still on target. Uh, there's been no updates, so let's see. Still waiting for the hype hype to come in for Doge. Uh, yeah, Elon Musk, X payments coming soon. We know it. You know it. Let's get it, guys. I, I thought this is, I'm going to show you something I think is pretty funny. 
Now, do go and follow me on my Twitter. I'll get all the updates there, all the updates. I'm also reposting some of my videos on there. A lot of good stuff out there. Hey, hop on the train. What else is coming in uh, right now? Also, it looks like uh, in, in uh, El Salvador, uh, Max Kaiser came and said, it is illegal to trade Doge on an exchange in El Salvador unless it registers as a security. It unmistakably is. Uh, but I don't think I don't think uh, Dogecoin is a security. No way. I don't think Dogecoin is a security under any definition. I mean, who could register as a security? It's a, it's a shit coin by design, but it can't be a security. Okay, crypto freeze. Let's uh, let's let's cut the vitriolic dust. I don't think it's a shit coin. It is a uh, community driven coin. It's got utility. We got Doge and also got an inscription, guys. So what do you think? Uh, is Dogecoin a security? Is Dogecoin a shit coin? Guys, comment. I appreciate. It. Uh, let's see who's in the money, who's out of the money for Dogecoin. So right now, 47% are in the money, 39% out. And we're mainly bullish right now on Dogecoin, so that's pretty good out there. So, yeah, it's a great time to be live. What else we got coming in? Uh, Doge is setting up for a nice for a nice uh, bull run, a nice pop soon. Dogecoin export uh, says 190,000. Get my words right. New Dogecoin address is created in seven days, so that is pretty, pretty positive. Uh, so we're seeing that addresses were created in seven days with a new adoption rate spikes 86%, while on top, one top expert sees a good chart for the next uh, run. Another says upside is more inevitable. So it's looking pretty good. So what happened? According to the block, indicated more than 890,000 new Dogecoin addresses were created in the past seven days. The network activity also increased. Remember, if you got network activity on chain, it's good for any crypto. With a new adoption rate peaked 86% as New Year's completed their first transaction earlier this week, it was revealed that Dogecoin's new addresses surged 1,100%. So a lot of activity is happening, happening for Dogecoin. Uh, I think Dogecoin is gearing up. We're seeing the Dogecoin, a lot of a lot of sideways training, a lot of a lot of pressure is building up, and I think that we're going to have a nice pop to the upside, guys. So it's a great time to be freaking alive. Do go follow me on my Twitter. On my Twitter, 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 uh, we've got uh, 10,600 followers. Let's get this up to 11,000. I appreciate it. Don't miss a beat. Don't miss a trick out there. It's a great time to be alive, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.